So we've got some ducks here and we're gonna make some duck prosciutto. Why would you wanna make duck prosciutto? It's delicious. It's something you can do with a duck and duck prosciutto is a really easy way to get into charcuterie. If you wanna try some charcuterie at home and don't know where to begin, or if you have a restaurant and you wanna start a charcuterie program, duck prosciutto is really easy. You just need some salt and then to wait for it to cure. If you're gonna make prosciutto out of duck, you need something to do with the rest of the duck. In my case, I'm gonna confit or uh, slow cook the duck in its own fat. And I'm gonna use that for duck roulettes, which is like a spreadable pate made out of duck. So we wanna clean the duck up. We wanna take off this neck fat, find our way into the wishbone. So I'm gonna pull this fat off the end here. Turn it around so you can see. I'm gonna pull this fat off the end here. And then I'm gonna find the wishbone in here. And I'm gonna remove that first. It's gonna make it a lot easier to breast these out. Pull that out. And there I have my wishbone out of the way. Then the next step is I'm just gonna find the that center piece of cartilage that runs between the two breasts. And I'm just gonna to go to one side of it and I'm just gonna cut into the breast. Just gonna slowly peel the meat back and try to get my knife as close to the cartilage or the bone in there as I can. I might come through and just cut this where I want it to end. Cut around here. There, and I have my first breast. So there's the tender is in here. And then I have some fat. We wanna keep the skin and the fat on there. And there's a little bit of silver skin and cartilage there, but I'm going to clean this up after I remove all the breasts. Move on to number two. Now we wanna clean our breasts up. We wanna make them into a nice shape and we wanna get rid of any gruesome bits. Now there is like this tender on there and we're just gonna wanna peel that off. Put that aside. Then I'm gonna square off the end here. Square off this little end here. We wanna be careful. We wanna be careful to keep the skin on there nice because we want that. Next step, we've cleaned these up. I'm happy with the way that they look. So I'm gonna start by adding some salt to the bottom of my container. You wanna use a kosher salt. So now I'm gonna put these breasts in here. I'm gonna to try to get them all nice and tight. The tighter your container, the better. I can see my edges, so I just wanna make sure that I get salt on the end pieces here. The salt's gonna work its way into the breast and it's gonna pull water out of the breast. What we're looking for here is we want the salt to penetrate and get its way all the way through the meat. It's two days later. After 48 hours, I've pulled this out of the fridge. You can see there's a lot of liquid in here. When the breasts come out, they're quite a bit firmer, as well as the colors really change. They're really dark. They've even seemed to have plumped up a bit. So now I'm just gonna rinse it off. You wanna get all the excess salt off there, and then I just have some paper towel here on a tray, and I'm just gonna continue and rinse all these off. I'm gonna pat the duck dry. I'm going to sprinkle white pepper. Now that our duck breasts are liberally sprinkled with white pepper, we're gonna wrap in cheesecloth and then we're gonna tie them with twine and hang them to dry. I have some cheesecloth here. I'm just gonna take one of the duck breasts and I'm just gonna roll it up in the cheesecloth. Kind of like a little, little burrito. You don't need a lot of cheesecloth. The whole point of this is to dry these out now. But what the cheesecloth is for is to keep any dirt or insects off of these little duck breasts as they hang. We're going to tie these off. 
I suppose you could use elastic bands or other such things to tie these, but we're just going to loop some string around these. So you're looking for something like this, just a, a little knot with a bit of string. Before we hang them to dry, we want to weigh them because we want to dry them to the point where they lose 30% of their weight. So we'll just take a measurement. This one is 200 grams. I'll write 200 grams on a piece of tape so I know what this one weighs. So I'll go through and I'll weigh each one. So the next question is, where do you hang these to dry? The ideal condition is a cool area where there's not a lot of opportunity for contamination and where the humidity is around 50%. If you try to dry the duck breast in an area that is too dry, the exterior can crust up, trapping the moisture on the inside of the duck breast, and you don't get uniform dryness. So you want to dry this out in an area that is actually fairly humid and somewhere between five and 15 degrees centigrade. For me, that's in this little kitchen area. So I can just hang my duck breast here. I'm going to leave these here for a few days. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to weigh them. And I'm going to continue to weigh them until they've reduced by 30% in weight. My duck prosciutto has been hanging for about a week or so. It feels still jelly-like in the middle, but it's pretty firm. Here's one that's 200. So if I take this and I weigh it, I get 155. 195 divided by 1.3 equal 150 plus five grams for the muslin would equal 155. So this one is ready to go. But because your duck breasts will be different sizes, you sort of need to weigh each one. So some of these need to hang a little longer and some of them are ready basically now. Now that these have dried enough, we'll open one up and see what it looks like. And you can see we have dried up, desiccated looking duck breast. It's got some white pepper on the outside. There's no visible signs of mold. Uh, it's nice and dry. It's still squishy on the inside. Now I'm going to slice it open. And there you go. It's darker on the outside uh, where it's dried out more. It's a little bit pinker, closer to the fat. It smells good. Uh, it doesn't have any rancidity to it or anything like that. We'll try it. It has the white pepper on it, so it's peppery. It's salty, but not too salty. It's really good. Duck prosciutto, really simple, easy charcuterie to try. You just have to find a duck at your grocery store. Then all you need is a little salt and a little time.